Wow. Whoo. It's been a while since I've done a six and a six. I wanted to jump back into the heat, into the oven, into the fryer, so to speak, with the spiciest six and the six yet. We're going to go to six of the hottest restaurants for spicy wings, and we've got one around the corner called Duff's, which people rave about being very spicy. Let's check it out. Duff's Wings. Cooking up authentic buffalo wings since 1969, this spot has been a Toronto hit for over 50 years. The spicy wings are well known throughout the city, and many people say their Armageddon wings are by far the hottest in the city. The hottest flavor they have is Armageddon, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bunch of dry rub wings, and then I'm getting the Armageddon sauce on the side, that way I can dip and kind of control my intake. Apparently, if you finish like a whole pound of wings or something, you get your, your name on the hall of pain in the back there. I'm not going to be completing an entire pound of wings of Armageddon sauce, but we're going to try some. Oh, there we go. That's the Armageddon sauce. You can see the difference in color. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it. That's, so the red is hotter than the orange. Okay, safety. Safety first. Okay. Okay, here it is. Let's give it a smell. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. A lot of vinegar in the sauce. Whew. I will I will say it looks a bit intimidating right now, but the fact that we have it on the side, I feel like I can control my intake a bit better. So that's good. So there it is, the Armageddon sauce. Now, she told me that people will only get one wing at first to see if they can handle a pound of it. And a lot of people say that your mouth burns for like 10 minutes after. That's why I got the beer. Maybe it would have been better to get something like milk, but I don't think bars serve milk. So Coors Light's gonna have to do. All right, here it is, very intimidating. Let's try it out. Oh yeah. I won't lie. Okay, yeah, wow. <clears throat> this might have been a bad idea. That has a kick to it. Wow. Holy cow. I'm gonna need some of the the carrot stick dipped in the ranch to cool that off a bit. My god. That was insane. These wings are devilish. Definitely be careful and look at the warning on their menu. The Wally is a local watering hole for the people who reside in the area, but they also whip up some very spicy wings with a variety of flavors sure to leave your palate scorched. We're here at the local watering hole, Wally. It's a place where people drink their sorrows away and eat spicy wings. Actually, the wings in this neighborhood is very famous. A lot of people come here every week for their wings and they have a ton of different flavors. The hottest, I was told, are either suicide and tsunami. And uh, Dora actually told me that the tsunami wings are the hottest. I thought for sure suicide would be hotter, but she says it's tsunami, and what that, that's actually referencing is the sweat. You're gonna be sweating like it's a tsunami. You're gonna be so wet from uh, all the sweat that you're gonna be having from the wings. Now they have 10, 15, and 20 pieces of wings. We opted for the 15, and we're actually gonna get them tossed in a mild hot sauce, and then we're actually gonna get the tsunami sauce on the side, so at least it's not gonna be completely dry like the last place, which is Duff's, so we can dip that, and potentially enjoy the wings on the side as well, not just the really spicy tsunami wings. Here it is, their tsunami sauce, and here is the mild wings with a big plate of fries, a lot of fries, more than I was actually expecting. But why, why are the sauces always so red? I feel like with Duff's, their hot sauce is really red. Maybe we'll see other places that will have different colored, really hot sauces, but definitely a bit intimidating. Just like all the other hot sauces, there's a little bit of a 
hint of vinegar smell to it, but we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna grab one of our wings here. One of our mild wings. Ooh, yes. Okay, and we're gonna dip it into our tsunami sauce here. Okay, we're gonna give it a taste. Let's see how hot this is. Tsunami, it's supposed to be really hot. Let's see if the name actually fits. Mm. Wow, that is hot. A little bit more of like a salty taste to that sauce. Not as sweet. I feel like Dust had a little bit of a sweet hit to it as well, but so far I have to say not as spicy as Duff's, but it is really hot. Maybe it's gonna be one of those hot sauces that kind of creeps up on you over time, but I'm not actually getting an immediate reaction. I'm actually gonna dip a little bit more of the swing into here. It's not the spiciest compared to Dove's, but I do enjoy the flavor here a little more. This Junction Chicken Joint serves Nashville-style fried chicken. If you know anything about Nashville style, then you know it means hot. Very hot. So hot that it's been rated by many in Toronto as one of the hottest wings in the city. We're outside of Chica's Chicken and we've got their wings right here. <laughs> These might be the biggest wings I think I've ever seen. Uh, borderline drumsticks here. These are freaking huge. I uh, went to the Guinea store while I waited to get some Nesquik, you know, because milk kind of might, you know, might soften the heat a little bit. They also threw in a complimentary water bottle, probably because it's going to decimate my throat and stomach. So happy that they did that, but my God, this thing, this thing is huge. Very intimidating, if it's not just for the spices, intimidating for the size alone, like these are huge. And I don't have any napkins, which might be a good thing because then I, you know, I won't accidentally wipe my eyes with the napkin, like, oh, get some of that hot sauce in there. Okay, all right, here it is, let's uh, try this out. God, it's still smoldering hot. Look at my fingers. I've already got the extremely hot AF sauce on me right now. Okay, here it goes. My God, very intimidating right now. Oh, wow, it's burning my fingers. Wow. Ooh, it's like a dry rub. Oh, it gets right in there. Wow. Whoo! Not sure if the pickles will help, but there's pickles here. Mmm. I recently had COVID and I feel like it's starting to irritate my throat and I'm gonna start coughing. I'm gonna have some of this milk. Ooh yeah, it's that dry rub. It adds like an extra level of a uh, just consistency to the heat you know if it's if it's a little bit wet a little saucy sometimes some of the heat can can dissipate a little bit you know if it's uh, you know rubbed in a certain way but this is like rubbed deep into the skin there is no escaping the summer heat let me tell you a Kensington Market staple for chicken lovers, this chicken doesn't just have a kick to it, it'll punch you right in the throat with their suicide sauce. Okay, here it is, a knockout chicken. Oof, very aromatic. Hey, off the bat, I actually got these ones dry with their hottest sauce, which is suicide on the side. Got some tissues here, and uh, we got a fork for some reason. Okay, put this aside. Let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, these look uh, really nice and crispy. Decent sized wings. Uh, the last place we went to, um, Chica's Chicken, the wings are a little on the massive side. Uh, it's very windy right now, I'm trying to keep things in order as they fall away, it doesn't matter. And here is the uh, hot sauce, the suicide sauce. Yep, nice and intimidating looking. Let me give it a smell. Ooh, oh yeah, grab one of these wings. These are literally blistering hot right now. Look at this. Wow. Very, very crispy. Burning my fingers right now, and I'm about to burn my mouth with the suicide sauce. It's uh, 
Let's give this a try. Definitely the crunchiest batter we've had so far. And that sauce, it's got a bit of like a sour, salty taste to it, similar to the sauce at Wally. So far it's not exceptionally hot, not as hot as Chica's Chicken, not as hot as Duff's, around the same level as the Wally right now, but it's building a bit, I can feel it. I get a sip of this uh, Coke Zero. Yeah, hard to say. It's not super hot. It's actually quite nice. This is actually pretty good. Right on Kingston Road, this pub has been recognized by BlogTO for having some of the best wings in the city. They also are loved by the locals for their spicy sauces that they offer, from their dragon fire to their inferno sauce. Here it is, green dragon wings. We got 10, uh, we got a salt and pepper rub on these, and this is the inferno sauce on the side, the hottest sauce that they have. The second hottest sauce is actually a dragon sauce, I think it's called, but this is the hottest, and again, sticking to that red theme, Whew, this looks really, really spicy. Okay, let's grab one of these wings. They look really, really crispy. Uh, they're actually rated some of the best wings. These are actually rated uh, some of the best wings in Toronto. And uh, you can see right there, it actually has the best chicken wings in Toronto by Blog Tio. I think it was ranked number eight. I don't know when this was. It might have been a few years ago, but nonetheless, it's actually one of my favorite places to grab wings in Toronto. Now let's dip. Ooh, that looks saucy. Okay, let's give it a bite. Wow, so hot, but it's very delicious, and I love these wings. Definitely some of my favorite in Toronto. Nice and crispy, juicy meat, and honestly, the Inferno sauce is hot, but it's, it's bearable. Like, I'm gonna sweat for sure, but it's really delicious. I highly recommend coming to Green Dragon for their wings. All Star Wings and Ribs launched in 2003, and it's quickly grown a reputation for having incredibly hot wings. All right, we are here outside of All Star Wings and Ribs. There's actually a few locations in Toronto, but we're at the College Street West location. Now they have quite the range of different sauces. There is tons, all the way from no heat to smoking to five alarm, and also their special, which is the H bomb. It's a secret recipe, extremely hot. It says it right there. Just they're warning you. That's good. I appreciate that. Secret warning. It's a secret sauce too. Apparently they used to have another one called Armageddon that was even hotter than this, which is baffling because I've heard that this is one of the hottest swings in Toronto. So um, I don't know if I came at a bad time because of that, but regardless, we're still trying their hottest swings at the moment, and that's the H bomb. Thank you. Wow, very nice. Wow, <laughs> right off the bat. I have to say, this is probably the most intimidating sauce that we've ever seen on the at, on the side. Like this is, like I can see chili flakes here. Like this is blood red. Wow. Okay, putting that aside over here. And here are the wings. There's the ranch dip for uh, the celery, and I guess you could dip your wings in there too. It's a salt and pepper dry rub on here. So very basic that way I can dip it into this sauce and get the most out of it for sure. Wow, these look really nice and crispy. I do like the look of these more than Duff's right off the bat. I have to say that these do look more presentable. This is a pound of wings here. Um, very, very cool. I think it's more than a pound. No, it's a pound. Okay, here it is. Time to dip it into the H-bomb sauce. My God, I hope the water I have on the side is sufficient enough. Ooh, this is a, a very thick and uh, creamy sauce. Most of the sauces we've had on the side are, are not this thick. This is really thick, very intimidating. You see those flakes? I think those are chili flakes. <laughs> there is a ton of them on here. Chili flakes are very, very hot. So right off the get-go, I have to say, very intimidated by this, but you know what? They didn't make me sign a waiver or anything like that, so I assume that I'm not gonna die, which is a good thing. All right, let's try this out. 
I'm actually really nervous about this. Okay. Sauce a bit. Huh. Right off the bat, it's not that hot. So I'm a little bit worried. I think it's gonna be one of those ones that slowly builds up and the heat keeps resonating like boom, 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 like more beats. But it's actually got a, a little bit of a sweet hint to the sauce. Not as overbearing as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually quite nice. Hmm. I'm gonna let this marinate a bit. His first impressions right now is that it's not as hot as I would have thought it would have been. But I will say, this is actually not their hottest sauce. They used to have a sauce called Armageddon that I mentioned before. This is their second hottest sauce, so maybe their Armageddon would be like twice as hot as this. I, I will say now, oh yeah, <clears throat> I can feel the heat building a lot more now. It's like a deep burn. Okay, but you know, first impressions, unless I start feeling really bad later on, not as hot as Duff's, not as hot as Chico's chicken. It's, uh, it's hot, but not the hottest in Toronto. Let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite wings in Toronto? Do they have spicy wings? If so, were they included in today's list? Here's the list in order from spiciest to least spiciest. Number one was Duff's, two was Chica's Chicken, three was All Star Wings and Ribs, four was Knockout Chicken, five was the Green Dragon, and number six, the Wally. Let me know which six in the six you'd like to see next, and I'll see you next Sunday.